Thanks, Eva. I'm also here with my colleague, Ian Shadford. We're from LifeScan, a Johnson & Johnson company. And our vision at LifeScan is to create a world without limits for people with diabetes. Diabetes can be a challenging disease, and people often struggle managing the disease and living a normal life. So what we've created for you today is a groundbreaking prototype with tools to simplify diabetes management. Let's imagine we are walking in the shoes of Maddie, a 15-year-old girl with diabetes. Maddie lives an active life. She tests her glucose at least six times a day. She also gives herself multiple injections of insulin, especially one to cover each meal. Let's say Maddie's at school. The first thing Maddie has to do is it's lunchtime, and she has to decide what, how much insulin to take to cover her meal. The first thing she has to do is to prick her finger and take her glucose reading with her one-touch system. You can see Maddie has to do this at least six times a day. That could be painful. Now, given the new iPhone 3.0 SDK, the meter can now transmit the reading to at Maddie's cool iPhone over, over the Bluetooth or the iPhone 30.30 30 pin connector. Maddie's iPhone is the envy of all her friends. And now she has her reading on her, on her iPhone. Once on the iPhone, Maddie can mark her reading as fasting before meal or after meal. She can also add a note. In addition to that, now she needs to understand what is it that she's going to eat for lunch that day. So she proceeds to the meal builder. Let's say Maddie is going to have for lunch today pizza and a glass of milk. Food is a big issue for people with diabetes. Every time they put something in their mouth, they're having to estimate exactly how is that going to affect my glucose levels. Well, now she knows that she's going to have 46 grams of carbohydrates. The next thing Maddie does is she progresses to the insulin calculator. And her insulin dose is automatically calculated for her using her insulin sensitivity factor, her carbohydrate ratio, as well as the glucose reading that she just had. Well, Maddie has swim practice today, and swimming lowers Maddie's glucose levels. So instead of taking the 4.6 units that Ma was calculated for Maddie, Maddie's going to lower her dose. And she's going to take four units. Keep in mind, most of this math has, al has always been done in Maddie's head. Now it's done for her via this application. Diabetes is also a very lonely disease. And when at school, Maddie is pretty much left to her own to manage it. Given that she has the iPhone now, she can, she can communicate with the greater diabetes community and get the support of people like her caretakers, her parents, her doctors, etc. In addition to that, given the new capabilities of the SDK, Maddie can let her parents know she's OK by sending them a message with her glucose numbers and how she's feeling. Diabetes is a complex disease, and it's complicated in managing, both in the short term, when you have to decide how much insulin you're giving yourself, as well as in the long term to prevent complications such as kidney disease and um, blindness. So Maddie wants to manage her glucose levels and stay in range at all times. So we have given her a history view of all of her readings. It's got her glucose readings, the insulin value she has with it, and the time and date in which she, she took the reading. In addition to that, though, it's often difficult to view um, trends and patterns by looking at a list. So we can give Maddie a graphical representation of this information. You can see Maddie is within range most of the time. However, there are a few exceptions, and she wants to understand why. So she taps on the dot, and she gets the idea that it is a, it's a below, her reading is 65, but she wants more information. So she taps on it again, and she gets the specifics of that reading. As you can see here, it was before a swim meet, and Maddie was really anxious. So what does that mean for Maddie? 
That means all she has to do is next time lower her insulin dose a little bit more than she did that uh, when she has a swim practice. Okay, so she knows exactly what to do. As you can see, we have provided Maddie with the tools she needs that fit make diabetes management easier and fit right into her lifestyle. We will continue to create a world without limits for people with diabetes by partnering with Apple and using the new SDK. We will also work closely with the global health authorities, such as the FDA, to ensure that we are compliant and meet all regulatory requirements. Our goal is, our goal is to move people from managing a burdensome disease to intuitively managing a lifestyle creating the opportunity for them to have better health outcomes and a better quality of life. Thank you. Thanks. So imagine the possibilities. When you have your iPhone, it's always with you. It's always connected. And now it can talk directly to accessories like that glucose meter. We think it's profound. Next, NG Moco. NG Moco is a startup company that was created to develop.